Welcome to Season 3 of The Short Score, the Team Roping Journal's weekly news update show, where you can find the latest on the sports leaders, from the jackpot world of the USTRC and the World Series of Team Roping to the pro rodeo ranks. I'm Chelsea Schaefer. And I'm Caitlin Gustav. And we'll be your hosts. Well, hi, Caitlin. Hi, Chelsea. This feels like dispatches from the edge. Like, I feel this is <laughs> okay. So, all joking aside, don't I feel breathe like on me. I'm not breathing on you, <laughs> but I think we've spent enough time together over the last week that you've got it if I've got it. Yeah. Um, so, absolutely, we, we might be joking to make light of this situation, but you know, we know that there are people that are, you know, exponentially more people every day that are affected by the coronavirus. So, we are thinking about them, and we are taking this seriously. Caitlin mm-hmm. and I are doing this podcast from my kitchen, mm-hmm. from my dining room specifically. So yeah, we are we are here. We are working from home. Um, we are business as usual, though, as far mm-hmm. as working from home goes. We are still full steam ahead, working on the May issue of the Team Roping Journal, which will hopefully, with with everything we can hope and pray for, will be full of event ads for events that are still happening. For you know, hopefully, this gets past us by by April and mm-hmm. and we're fingers this, crossed this is just something that we will tell our kids about someday so <laughs> I, that's my hope but but with that said there are still ropings happening that we want to talk about the first one is the hork dog which was the 21st edition of the hork dog in Stephenville in Stephenville Texas the whole new side of the country right um, so Coleman Proctor and Jake Long won that we'll have a story by Paula Cooper up on our website here within the day mm-hmm. on that win so congrats to Coleman and Jake, just like old times. Coleman won second also with Ryan. Money, money. So yeah. Lots of money being won. Yeah. At, at a very key time for money to be mm-hmm. won, for sure. Definitely. I talked to Garrett Tanazi yesterday. We were working on a story, and he was like, man, I feel unemployed for the first time in my life. Yeah. And it's it's kind of definitely how it seems like a lot of the rodeo cowboys and, and people who make a living roping are feeling right about it. It's not funny, but it's funny because if you're on social media – and all, and if you follow all the guys, the pro rodeo guys' pages, they're all popping up with schools and like mm-hmm. it's not funny, but it's funny, like because everyone's doing it now. They got to make money somehow since yeah. rodeos are kind of yeah. on a slope right now. Yeah, it seems like there's still some open ropes going on. There's mm-hmm. small gatherings. Uh, hopefully, not people aren't high fiving, shaking hands. I know people are getting do the creative. elbow. Yeah, I saw some barrel racers. Uh, posting that they're doing a no contact barrel race where like you pull in, hmm. you stay at your trailer, you pay via PayPal, you enter via PayPal. It's gonna pay out via PayPal, so there's no contact with the office help. Um, so I think people are gonna start to get really creative. I know we've mm-hmm. been in lots of meetings with the associations, figuring out what's going on, which we'll talk about more here later in the podcast. Mm-hmm. But with that said, really quickly. We want to hear what kind of creative things your folks are doing. Mm -hmm. Um, So I've never asked ropers to do this before, but there's a voice memo option on your phone. I would absolutely be thrilled if you all would take the time, anybody that's listening to this podcast that that might have some extra time on their hands, and talk about how you're dealing with with the coronavirus and its limitations into your voice memo app. So go ahead and record a voice memo and email it to me at C Schaefer, S H A F F E R at A I M M E D I A dot com. How's it affecting your day to day life? I know there's a lot of ranchers out there that aren't super affected by it, which is a blessing. Mm-hmm. And, and how you're dealing with it and what creative ways your local local roping community is, is working on it. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see everyone's take on it yeah if you record that voice memo we'll put it on a podcast later in the week very excited to hear from you all i sure hope that you can you can help us with this because we want to talk you know someday in 10 years 50 years this is going to be a a recording of what's actually going on at the time people during time yeah i mean i know i talked to denny and he said you know he didn't really have any precedent for for what's happening now so Mm -hmm. so we are writing the precedent for you know what could be more of more things like this happening in the future. So anyway, let us know how you're dealing with it, what responsible ways your local roping community is, is keeping the roping world alive. I can't wait to hear it because I'm excited and, and want you all to be keeping the roping community and the roping way of life alive, though, you know, so many of our events are canceled and mm-hmm. I want everybody to be safe in the process. So I want to hear how you're doing it safely. 
All right, we keep circling back to that because it's kind of hard not to. Yeah, circle it's hard back. not to talk I mean, about it, it. It's 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 strange to talk about team roping, though. I mean, I want nothing more than to just talk <laughs> about day to day team roping and what's going on. If you were on social media, you you better have know some snappy head loops. Yeah, oh yeah, that's what and heel shots. Yeah, I don't I know saying. if that's the angle you were. That going wasn't right where there, I was going to go with this, <laughs> uh, but I did notice my husband outside roping the dummy. I was like, man, I bet everybody's just getting a lot of dummy roping in right now. Hope you're all roping the dummy. <laughs> um, I better start roping the dummy. <laughs> speaking of snappy heel shots, though, or sharp mm. heel shots. Paul Leaves caught two feet with a horse on top of him yeah. um, at the Hork Dog. So check out the Hork Dog's Facebook page. Uh, Rodeo Mania video, I think, is who posted it. Paul had a terrible wreck, has a bad concussion, but him and his horse are okay, mm -hmm. are going to be okay. But that video has circulated the whole interwebs. So if you haven't seen it, holy cow. Like, as much as that was so scary that that happened, that was pretty wicked like you can't stop Paul Leaves from catching two feet no and it was nuts to see the whole thing unfold it was super mm -hmm. scary I know you were, you had been watching the live feed I yeah I hadn't cool. been so you you text me right away and I went back and watched it on what was saved on the live feed and oh it gives you chills it'll make you sick to your stomach mm -hmm. so check that out if you haven't you know, extreme team roping still happened the mm -hmm. day after. Extreme team roping, big break. It's a NFTR earnings roping. Mm -hmm. So Ben had good numbers this weekend. Lots of ropers came out to participate. My word on the street was that everybody was, you know, very careful. Not a lot of handshaking going on. Uh -huh. Not a lot of close contact, but I was glad to see ropers participate. Same still with, entered. Yeah, still entered. The the Heartland, 10 and a half, paid 25000 that was a Shelly Productions roping. From few last weekend. Last weekend? Yeah. Two weeks ago. Two mm -hmm. weeks ago. Gotcha. Gotcha. That was a good one. And Tunica, Mississippi with John mm -hmm. Johnson's roping was also another good one. Numbers were strong there. Yeah, I talked to Gary Pointhris, who runs our computer software that, that tracks all these ropings. And he said ropers were participating last weekend. Um, it, no indication that, that people are staying home they're just staying safe hopefully so. stay hungry keep yeah. after it yeah they're, they're, stay healthy but stay hungry <laughs> they're staying safe there's lots of rodeos that are canceling mm -hmm. obviously you know team roping just draws in the recreational ropers there's not a huge crowd like we said earlier uh we don't want necessarily we said this on our website and we said it um on the Cowboy Channel earlier, that we don't want, you know, you bringing your whole family necessarily to a roping. You don't mm -hmm. need to bring your whole cheering section because you can't really control what the kids do and if they stay safe. But but glad to see everybody still out there participating where they can. Uh, the rodeos, though, are canceling because... Canceling or postponing. Or postponing, just, mm -hmm. yeah, because you can't have just a ton of fans in the stands. It's, no. No, so, so... And that's hard for rodeos because, I mean, you they have to factor that in. They do get money from everyone mm -hmm. buying tickets to watch those rodeos so i mean like everyone i've seen it like everyone's saying like well why don't they just make it a big slack and like i thought that too and now i'm like look breaking it down in my head i'm like no you know they make money from the cowboys but they make money from the, the yeah the people watching yeah that's how they can afford to put the rodeos on and, and have their insurance and everything else that the committees have mm -hmm. to have so yes uh the prca though has a site dedicated mm -hmm. to the virus and, and their updates. So if you go to prorodeo.com, they've got all of their information there. Cinch timed event. Yeah. So it went on. So with everything going on, I stayed More home this weekend. More coronavirus. Yeah. Yeah. So with, with everything going on, I stayed home this weekend just because, you know, I have a young daughter and an older parents too, which sorry, mom and dad for calling you older um, <laughs> if you listen to this. I, I do. So I, I stayed home out of precaution. But Kendra Santos, she was there at the timed event watching her son, Taylor Santos, and her other son, Lane, Lane Carney. Taylor won the timed event. Mm -hmm. So Kendra got to see him win $103,000, which Jeez. was awesome. We will wait for her story on that later in the week. She, mm -hmm. she usually writes, turns things in right away after things happen. But she said, hey, can I enjoy this moment with Taylor? And I said, absolutely. So I think it'll be worth it once we get to see her story, though. Mm -hmm. so, Definitely. Very excited for that. All right. So it's Tuesday. It is Tuesday, March 17th. It's St. Patrick's Day. Actually, we are in green. Yeah, you are. Oh, you are. Yeah, uh, my my shirt. Oh, yeah, my vest has it on too. But my shirt definitely is all green. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> I'm wearing a lot of colors right now, you guys. It's fine. So at this moment, we you know this is usually the point of the podcast where we do our updates about what ropings are coming up. Right now, we know that the roping is going to happen from the 
the roping at the San Antonio Rose Palace this weekend. It's the South Texas Championships. They've moved it, and it's going to happen. The ropings at the Lazy E are canceled for two weeks. Uh, right now, the Wiley Hicks Jr. in Amarillo is still happening. Mm -hmm. So we, are, we will slowly update, as we know. I know that the associations told me this morning that Tuesday every week, they are going to update the website with what ropings are or are not happening, and then we will keep kind of, you know, Keep that list really Going fresh at there. the USTRC, USTRC.com, WSTRroping.com, and TeamRopingJournal.com. Um, we will alert you of, of the ropings that are happening. The big news right now is that the USTRC Cinch National Finals will be moved to September 7th through the 14th, and they will still be held in Fort Worth, Texas. That's out of an abundance of caution. The you know, there's lots of different government guidelines coming out right now. The mayor of Fort Worth is asking events to hold off. So yes, all events in Fort Worth are canceled for the time being. Um, mm -hmm. That's coming from the mayor of Fort Worth. Um, even the Kentucky Derby is postponed at Everything. this point. But I'm excited that we are not canceling the U.S. finals mm -hmm. this year. They are postponed. So the city of Fort Worth worked with us, got us dates already. The office is going to be calling every roper who entered the U.S. finals to find out whether or not they want to roll their entries to September. Mm -hmm. So look for a call from Albuquerque. Guys, if you get a call from Albuquerque, it is not somebody calling to raise your number. <laughs> it is not. It is. No, you're not in trouble. They are calling to see if you they're would helping like, you. They're calling to help you out to see if you want to roll your entries. We sure hope you do. Uh, September is an awesome time to be in Fort Worth as well. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be green. It'll be pretty. The Botanical Gardens will be pretty for the oh, families yeah. right there next door. So um, <laughs> it'll be a good time to be in Fort Worth. We will keep our plans going you know we're gonna have a live podcast every day from mm -hmm. u.s finals lots of exciting stuff if you've got sale horses for the sale i suppose you need to decide if you're gonna feed them a little bit longer but yeah. i hope so <laughs> hopefully you can have a little bit more time to market them and the, mm -hmm. the economy will bounce back up and all will be well so look for that phone call look for that announcement we'll have it out this afternoon so guys in these tough times remember send us a voice memo um, we'll put instructions on the website, too, as how you can do that. Send us a voice memo about what you're dealing with, how your community, your open community is banding together in this time. We need some encouragement. We want it to come from y'all. So mm -hmm. shoot us an email, cshafer at A-I-M-M-E-D-I-A dot com. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks, and talk to you soon.